Hi, this scratch video tutorial will take you through how we can draw our own backdrop and um, create a maze backdrop for our gold maze game that we're about to create. So I'm in my uh, new backdrops area. I'm using my paint new backdrop tool. I've clicked onto my rectangular tool and I've made sure that the shaded part of the rectangular is clicked as well. I'm going to go ahead and select a, a backdrop color that I want to apply. So let's just draw a very large rectangle that'll probably take up the the complete screen. So that's done. I'm happy with that. And now let's start drawing our maze. So what we'll do is we'll click onto our rectangular tool again. This time we'll select a different color. And I might select a, um, a light, uh, well, a pink color and let's start drawing our maze. So using my rectangular tool, let's start drawing some maze shapes and, uh, and make it quite interesting and I'll quickly do this and obviously you can take your time when you are drawing your own maze. Okay, so I might just do another triangle piece that comes down this way. Make sure that there are no gaps and I might draw another big piece that runs across the bottom like so and you can always uh, vary the, the thickness of your maze tunnel whichever way you like um, might have another little piece heading out this way And we'll have another piece. Whoops, sorry, I'll click that onto that. Might have another piece sort of coming down out of here. And we might just increase the thickness of that. And why don't we get another piece sort of jutting out from this side? Let's just continue so that we can make it a little bit more challenging. I might have another tall piece sort of coming out this way. I might move that across a little bit. And if I could get another little piece sort of sitting on top of that. Um, okay, we're almost there. I might have another little angle sticking out here. And maybe another long piece sticking out here. We might have to make that a little bit wider. And then the final piece where we need to have a little bit of an opening. And this is where we are going to place our gold coins. So to create the gold coins, let's click onto my little circle and select the the gold color that I might want to use and we might just draw two little circles at the end of the maze and these can represent the gold pieces I might just do one more and we'll have another piece sort of hanging out here a little bit bigger. Okay, have fun creating your own maze backdrop.